well hello again and i guess another day another guide you already read the title so let's just get started once again i'm gonna structure this video into three parts so first i'll talk briefly about entity coins then i'll talk about platinum skins since you know these both go hand in hand and then at the end i'll try to i formulated some you know like last video some faqs which i'll try to answer so let's just get started so the first thing is entity coins so what is this what does this car this is actually another new currency which has come with sinister stones so if you go to the entity's treasure and let's say i'm gonna flip this so let's just flip so yeah as you can see i already have this uh pant this like this like uh, this you know like piece of costume so you see that uh, instead of you know obtaining it, I obtained this. It says you know plus one. So this currency is called entity coins. And I mean that's it. That's a straight definition. Uh, you can only get this through this uh, you know gacha or entity draw. So there's no other way to currently get these. And these are used for only one and one thing so far is to obtain the platinum cosmetics for the mobile exclusive skins. So. Whichever cosmetics usually have a gold and a silver variant, they also have another variant called platinum skin. That's why you know I put both of both uh, the entity coins and platinum in one video. So I mean that's it for entity coins. You can get it from here. And uh, okay, something to about to know about entity coins. So if you get a duplicate, this is just a piece, you know, like a head piece or a body or a leg, you'll get one entity coin. If you get a full set like you know a full co uh, cosmetic so you will end up getting either two or three depending on the rarity if you get a silver duplicate it's 45 a gold duplicate should be 30 375 and i'm not sure about the relic duplicate because i've never got a relic duplicate so far so i mean that's it for entity coins and i'll just show you it's actually called entity coins so you know what it is uh if i so i click here And if I show you, so you can see I have 377 entity coins. If I tap on this, okay, sorry, you got to hold on it. So yeah, I'll show you. It's called entity coins, and you receive, you get auto receive this in the sense that whenever you put any duplicate of a cosmetic you already have, so you will, it will uh, give you entity coins, and your description itself says that you can unlock platinum cosmetics. So I mean that's all for entity coins. Now I'll talk about platinum cosmetics. So if you actually click on your character, so I'll just do it again. So if you click on the to change the cosmetic so you will notice like in my case i have both the gold and the silver david but on the right hand side you will see there's a up arrow like can you see build above the layout a uh, loadout sorry loadout so this is there on david let's say if i change the character so let's see if i go to fang and you see if i try to if i look at this ui of fang that arrow does not exist because i don't have a single uh single of those you know the gacha cosmetic for feng yet uh, it hasn't released yet so that's why so uh, once again if i go back to david you see this arrow over here so if you click on this arrow it will actually take you another page i mean just in case you weren't aware so this is how you actually access the platinum page so obviously it will show you a preview of the platinum cosmetics so as you can see over here and it will actually show you how uh you need to require technically what you need to uh, unlock the platinum cosmetic so there are two requirements one is you need the gold cosmetic of whichever one you're trying to unlock so s let's say this set is called nightclub star so to get the platinum uh, version of this i first need to get the gold one so as you can see on the right hand bottom corner it says there's a small green tick on my above the gold frame so it means i have the gold and the second requirement is entity coin that's why i put this in the same video Yes, you do need a whopping 2,500 entity coins just to get one platinum cosmetic. So it's actually going to take you time. You won't get it pretty, easy, pretty easily. And similarly, if let's say if I go to the killer side, you can actually access. So let's say Trapper is the one currently. So if I go to Trapper. So as you can see here also, I have uh, silver and the gold Trapper. So if I go to Upgrade. So now you can see it will show me the platinum version. And you can see the requirements are still the same. You need the gold and you need the uh, you need 2,500 entity coins. Let me just take you to an example of where I only have a silver. So I think Oni is the one. So yeah, see once you have, once you get the silver or gold of a character, you will already see this up arrow will actually 
automatically be embedded so as you can see i have silver only i can still uh, view the platinum but now as you can see on the right hand side the right hand bottom corner i don't have a gold so that's why even if i get 2500 entity coins i will not be able to get this cosmetic because i need the gold one so i mean that's it uh a main question like if you're wondering why do you need platinum cosmetics for killers it's mostly i mean it's it's mostly like aesthetic sense like you know you can if you want to like flex and all that you have a platinum cosmetic so it's good and it's a bit of grindy because 2500 cosmetics uh do this thing it will take you a lot of time so i mean that's it uh, i'll try to answer some faqs now for this so the first one will be is let's say in the entity treasure you know like example for now there's there's a gold trapper gold david because you need gold to get the platinum so if uh, the first question is what happens if you don't happen to get either of these let's say you don't happen you don't get the gold trapper in 14 days then what happens so i mean uh, the answer won't be nice but technically you cannot get you won't be able to get the platinum trapper forever i mean there is one way which i'll talk about a bit but if you do not get the gold cosmetic within the 14 days or the time span of when this draws in sinister stone you will not be able to get you will never be able to upgrade to platinum version so you have to your main aim from this gacha draw should be to get at least the gold ones i mean if you like the silver ones they look better and it's fine it's up to your choice but if you're aiming for platinum cosmetics then you have to make sure you get golds for the character you are pursuing uh, another question is could there be another way to either get platinum skins or entity coins and the answer for both is no for entity coins you have to draw and you have to make sure you get duplicates that's the only way so far i mean both versions in this and the netties to get entity coins for platinum cosmetic actually here there's only one way which is through uh through you know the upgrade system in your cosmetic section like if i show you again so so far there's only one way but actually on the original netties version there was another way so it's not here if you actually go to the draw on the netties version there used to be two or three more draws uh, below uh, these two where you could actually uh draw for the platinum cosmetic but the reason i didn't talk about this before is because the platinum to draw a platinum cosmetic in the netties version it was actually paid so similarly how the sadak the sadako one is a paid version similarly the platinum cosmetics were paid and technically i'm trying to make this as free as possible so and to, to stick with sinister stones that's why i would not recommend so just uh consider that platinum skin there's only one way to get them uh, another question could be is how long like hypothetically how long could it take to get the platinum skin so i have played the netties version for i think around five to six months so for me in my per in my personal experience on an average it took me around two two months yeah you could say two months to get 2500 entity coins of course this is a uh, very you know don't don't like you know take my word for it in a sense because it, this really depends on your luck let's say because if i'm very unlucky and i end up getting all the duplicates with one entity coin and maybe you have better luck you end up getting you know a lot of you your duplicates are with two or three entity coins or you end up getting a lot of silver or gold duplicates you will have way more than me so the process for you may be faster but in my case it took an average of two months to get 2500 entity coins so yeah you just have to watch out for that uh another question is could you speed up this process of getting entity coins and the answer is yes but there's a slight catch so if i go back to my flip over here so so far i've spent one entity i've spent one sinister stone and i've gotten one entity coin right so one to one ratio now the thing is if i press let's say if i draw another one from here for two entity for two sinister stones and let's say i get another duplicate which gives me only one entity and one entity coin and now obviously if you know that after two the next draw becomes four right and in one set you can do three times so let's say you get you get us you get a duplicate of one 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 entity coin each so let's do some maths here so in this in this let's say if i do draw all three so now my ratio is i have spent seven sinister stones and i've gone three entity coins right which is almost like less than half the ratio so what you could do is uh you draw once so now you get a one to one ratio right and then you just press reset so i'll give up this 
Okay, and now I'll, I'll flip again. Okay, now see, uh, the price are reset to 1. So now let's say if I just draw a random one. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna give up this one. Damn it. Okay, I'll just flip again. Alright, so now again, I have gotten one entity coin for one sinister stone, right? So the tr the pattern I was trying to do over here is I just use the one sinister stone, I draw one, and then I reset and reset. So every time I'm only spending one sinister stone, and I'm getting one entity coin, right? If you get a duplicate, so it still maintains the one to one ratio. Instead of you know doing a draw here, then you'll get you'll end up spending seven sinister stones in one draw, and you might only get less than seven entity coins. Although, yes, this is a way because you will be spending less sinister stones and you will be getting more uh, entity coins. But I mean, this, sh in my opinion, should not be your main aim. Your main aim should be to get the gold for both characters at least. After you get these, then maybe you can, you know, try and do the trick I said. But of course, it's up to you. I'm not like. Because if you if uh, if your entity coin process is slow, it's not, it's not that big of a, you know, blow to you as an issue. But if you, let's say, miss out on this gold, David, then you'll never be able to get the platinum version of this. So that's why, in my opinion, main of focus should be on getting the cosmetics first. Then you can try and play around and, you know, if you find other ways to speed up the process, you can. The other way to speed up process is a paid ones, the paid version. Like, so if you go to the store. So you go to special bundles. So what you can do is you can, technically, you can buy for rx cells you buy more sinister stones so if you buy more stones it means you can draw more so let's say we run out of stones obviously i would not recommend this method and i mean i would never i mean in my opinion never ever do it i mean i'm just telling you it's there but don't ever touch this it's not worth it and the last I th and the last question and i think the most important one is should you get should you choose between survivor or killer or is there any difference whether you get a killer go uh, platinum or survivor platinum i mean as we have seen now that uh it takes really long right to get one cosmetic so it might take you years <laughs> to be honest years to get every single uh, platinum cosmetic if you are like you know trying to grind for those so the answer is first of all it depends if you're a killer main or a survivor main so if i mean depending on that then you already have the question answered for you but if you are someone who has the flexibility to choose either one so i'll just explain first i'll go to a survivor first so if i go to david again so let's say if i spent my 2500 entity coins and obviously i have the gold one to get this platinum so the thing is uh for survivors you only get the cosmetic so it's just appearance so in the sense if i do upgrade and unlock this all I'll be getting is this cosmetic. So that is for survivors. But for killers, it's a different story. So if I go to my trapper. Uh, so for killer side, if you do end up choosing the killer and you get this platinum cosmetic, there's one and one major difference. For killers, these come with the new Mori's. So obviously if you have either seen my channel, any other YouTuber or you know, wherever you have seen your source, you might be aware that DBD Mobile, especially this version and the Netis version, has a lot of exclusive killer mores. And the thing is, they're only tied to Platinum Cosmetics. So, let's say, you know, this Platinum Cosmetic is called Polyphemus Platinum, right? If you see on the left-hand top corner, it's called Polyphemus. If I click, if I uh, select the silver one... Uh, just a minute. Wait, I can't select. Okay, yeah. So I've selected the gold one and you see the cosmetic name, let me just move this. It says Polyphemus, which is the same set, right? I mean, you can make up from the design, it's just recolors. So similarly, this is silver and the, the cosmetic name is same. The thing is, if you, if I were to equip a Mori for the silver one and the gold one as well. So if I either this or this and you equip a Mori and you go in the game, it will still be Trapper's regular Mori. If you want the exclusive mode, you have to get this one. 
So yes, that is maybe this. Uh, that is only different so far. I mean, in the Netties version, there was one this very rare exception. So there was a Christmas cosmetic for Kate, which had the in-game uh, like when you you know survivor spawn right? They're just standing. But for the Christmas collection for Kate, there was a special in-game spawn. Like you know, I think she would like make a s snowball. I forgot the exact animation. Animation. I'll just. I'll link the video so you can see it for yourself. But that only happened for one. I mean, I do. I've not seen any clips or videos of any other platinum survivor. So yeah, that that's why I think maybe you should think about it whether or not you want to sp spend your precious two thousand five hundred NDT coins on a killer platinum or a survivor platinum. And I mean, uh, yeah, that's it. I didn't want to make this video very long after what happened last time. We went for half an hour. So yeah, I mean that's it. So that's all about Platinum Entity Coins and I guess thanks for watching.